If you believe the Amazon App Store has everything your Fire Stick can do, think again. There's a secret world hidden behind special downloader codes that transform your device into a powerhouse of free entertainment. We're talking movies, live TV, and even premium sports, all accessed in seconds. In this tutorial, I'll reveal the most powerful codes of 2025, how to use them safely, and the secret app stores Amazon doesn't want you to discover. First, navigate to your main screen and locate that magnifying glass symbol. Press down, then select the center button on your remote. A keyboard will appear. Now, enter Downloader. It should instantly show up as a suggested result. Scroll down, choose it, and press the center button again. This will direct you straight to the correct app, which is orange. Time to install it. The app's dedicated page will open. Just press the center button once, and the download will begin. Wait for it to hit 100%. Patience is essential here. Once it's complete, you'll see Launch Now, but don't launch it just yet. Since it now shows Launch Now, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we absolutely need to access your Fire Stick system settings to make a key configuration. The quickest route is to scroll all the way to the right edge of your main screen. A settings menu will show below. Scroll down and we're searching for the option labeled My Fire TV. If your device isn't running the newest software, My Fire TV might be positioned in a different area. If you own an older model, the name might be My Device. Whatever the label, this is the option we need to select. Go ahead and select it. On my screen, Developer Options is already visible. If you don't see it, no big deal. I'll quickly walk you through how to enable it. Move up and choose About. Now, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, rapidly press the central button nine times. A message will appear saying, congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that, hit the back button and developer options will now be shown on the menu. Let's open developer options together. The first selection is a DB debugging. Press the central button to toggle it to the on position. If a small prompt box appears, scroll down and choose Allow. Now select Install Unknown Apps. You'll definitely see Downloader listed there. You might spot other applications too. Scroll to Downloader and press the central button to turn it on. On some older Fire Sticks, this specific choice might not be an option. Instead, it might say Apps from Unknown Sources and you can simply switch that one setting to on. If that's your situation, just activate it. Once that's complete, press the home button on your remote. Now, let's find that new downloader app. The simplest method is to scroll almost to the end and select the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This screen shows every single app you have installed. The newest applications always show at the very bottom. Just scroll all the way down and you'll easily locate the app you just finished adding. Let's launch Downloader together. If a small box immediately appears, just hit the central button to close it. This application lets you connect to almost any website. To enter a URL, press the central button two times. A keypad will show so you can type the web address. Today, I'll take you to my special website I'll show the address on the screen as I type. Be absolutely certain you enter it precisely, or you might get a connection error. Take your time. Pause the video if I'm moving too quickly. Once the address is correctly entered, highlight and hit go. Let's wait for the download to complete. If you happen to see a connection error or a check link message, it means your service provider is blocking the connection. Simply activate your VPN or change its location, and that should fix the issue. When the download is done, you'll be prompted to install the app. Scroll over and choose 
Install. When the setup process is complete, scroll over and select Done. After you select Done, you'll return to this screen. Now scroll over, select Delete, and then again, scroll and choose Delete. That's all the downloading we need from the Downloader app for now. Press the Home button. Next, we need to return to the Fire Stick settings to make one final critical adjustment. Remember, scroll all the way to the end. Choose My Fire TV or My Device. Then open Developer Options. And once again, go into Install Unknown Apps. Choose that option. Now you'll notice Unlin is appearing in the list. If you have other apps, scroll down to highlight Unlin and press the central button once to turn it on. Once everything's set up, press the home button again. Now, we need to find the new Unlin app. Remember, just scroll over and choose the icon with three squares and a plus sign. All your apps are on this screen, and the newest one is always at the bottom. That's where you'll see the Unlin app we just installed. Let's launch it up! The first thing it needs is a new library. Select the central button on your remote two times just like that. Another keypad will appear, requesting the specific library code. Friends, I developed my very own exclusive app store, providing access only to my devoted viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the best, newest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps up to date, producing this video, and responding to your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That simple click tells me thank you for sharing all of this for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and enter this code. Make sure to take your time it must be typed exactly as written, or you might encounter an error. If I'm moving too fast, just pause the video. After you type the code correctly, highlight and select Next, and let the library load up. Welcome to my custom app store. There are 70 fantastic apps here for free on-demand content, live content, live sports, and even more. People often ask, which are my favorites? My personal top picks for cord cutting are featured right in the welcome message. Many viewers also inquire about VPNs. I put an important note right here, so please take a quick moment to read all the info on the welcome screen. After you've read everything, press the central button on your remote three times. This will automatically organize my store for you. Move up and down for categories or right and left for the apps within them. Today, I'll show you a few options, guide you through how the system works, and how to start enjoying your free content. Now scroll down through the categories until you reach category number 13, Cool YouTube Examples. The first app I strongly recommend downloading here is IPVANISHVPN. This is my absolute favorite choice for staying protected and private while using all these applications. Some people have trouble installing or opening apps because their internet provider blocks the connection using IP Vanish. VPN keeps you safe and gets around any throttling or restrictions from your provider. To download IP Vanish VPN, you can highlight it and select download. Or what I prefer to do to always ensure I get the latest version is go back to the Fire Stick home screen, locate the magnifying glass, scroll down, select the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, type in I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H. Sometimes you will have to enter it in fully to make it show up. So just take your time here, enter it in exactly as I am, then you'll see it in the suggestions. Highlight and select the central button. On this page, choose the app from the list and in this menu, select the central button to start the installation process. Once it's installed, Select the central button to open it, and you can log in. Don't have an account yet? No worries. I'll show you a super simple way to obtain one so you can browse safely and unlock all these amazing apps. Grab your phone or computer and open your browser. Visit the website address shown on screen. 
or just point your camera at the QR code to get there instantly. The link is also conveniently included in the video description and the comment section. Choose a plan. Even one month is enough to test it out and see the difference for yourself. After you successfully sign up, they'll send an email with your username and password. With those crucial details, your Fire Stick will be safe and private. Sign in to the IP Vanish app and press Connect. There's one essential setting I want to highlight for you. Tap the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu appears. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If you turn the setting on, you'll never have to manually remember to turn on your VPN every time you power on your device. It'll connect automatically, so you never have to pause your movie just to check if your VPN is running. It just handles it for you. Now that you're totally secure, let's start obtaining some more fantastic apps. Press home and head back to your applications, launch the Unlin app again, and return to the same category. Here are the next four apps I suggest for on-demand shows, sports, and live content. You'll discover four more applications to download here. Make sure to check the descriptions so you know precisely what each one does and how to use it. Here's the first one. You'll spot an app for live channels, special events, and more. Select it, press download, and now we'll just wait for this to reach 100%. It might only take a couple of seconds if your internet is quick, or a little longer if it's slow. But either way, this download step always finishes, so just stay patient and let it do its thing. This depends on your internet speed and the file size how long it might take. But when the box appears, choose Install App, scroll over, and press Install. Now it's going through the installation, so we'll wait until that reaches 100%. This step can take a little longer than downloading, but seriously, it's completely normal. And once it's done, we'll be ready to move forward. After that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can immediately obtain more apps. Next, you'll see an app specifically focused on sports. Highlight it and hit download. Here comes another loading bar. All we need to do is let it climb to 100%. Depending on your internet connection, this part might fly by or take a short moment. Don't worry though, it's just part of the process and we'll be moving forward right after. When you see the small box, select Install App, scroll over and hit Install. Depending on your specific device, this might be quick or take a moment, but either way, it always finishes and will continue as soon as it does. Now, look for an app that brings you both movies and TV shows. Highlight, select, download, and let it finish. We'll pause here for a bit while it fills up to 100%. I know it feels like we've repeated this step, but it's all part of the required setup. Just hang tight. This won't take forever, and we'll be on to the next step before you know it. When the install box appears, choose Install App, Scroll over and select Install. Now, some apps in my store actually require a separate player to function correctly. The one you just downloaded for movies and TV shows is exactly like that. You'll notice the title clearly says, it requires another player. It might seem a bit confusing initially, but the description explains everything, and it'll make perfect sense once you start using the apps. Let's grab that required player app now. Locate the app, choose Download, and wait for it to complete. Almost there. Just let this one load all the way up to 100%. I know we've had a couple of these waits already, but that's just how the process goes. Stick with me, it won't be much longer. And when the box appears, install it just like before. And that's all there is to it. We just grabbed four awesome apps. Remember, there are 70 total in my store, so don't feel limited by what I've shown you here. My top favorites are conveniently placed in category one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them daily, explore the store, 
and download as many of the apps as you want to try. Now, I know we just added some truly amazing apps for free movies, TV, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. But before you launch any of these, I always recommend turning on your VPN first. Thank you so much to everyone who follows and supports this channel. It means so much and helps me out a ton. I appreciate you all for spending your time with me. I can't wait to read your comments and see you again in the next video.